As it gets colder outside, people are turning on their heating devices, some of which can be dangerous. Tonight, a warning for you about the silent killer, carbon monoxide. Taylor Tashev in the studio with this important information. Taylor. Alicia, carbon monoxide can be deadly. A five-year-old boy in York County was near a generator Friday on a farm in North Cadoras Township. He died from CO poisoning, according to the coroner. And in Dauphin County, fire officials are crediting a family dog with saving its owners from carbon monoxide poisoning. Late Sunday night, crews were dispatched to a carbon monoxide alarm in Lower Paxton Township. For us, it's a officer response only, so I head out myself. Colin Weigel, assistant chief of Colonial Park Fire Company, was met by the homeowner who said the rest of her family was already asleep for the night. She was laying down for the night when she heard the dog barking downstairs. She went downstairs to figure out what the dog was barking at. Turns out it was the carbon monoxide alarm going off in the basement. Too faint for anyone to hear upstairs, but not the pup. The family was able to get out safely. I opened up the basement door. I was already met by a large volume of carbon monoxide in the house. The highest reading was 1500 parts per million, which is enough to knock a human unconscious in about 20 minutes and prove to be fatal at about two hours. We ended up finding the exhaust pipe of the boiler it had come disconnected somehow in the basement throughout the day. Uh, we were able to secure that pretty quickly. Weigel says now is the time of year for more carbon monoxide related calls. Do you have some malfunctions that may have happened over the summertime that you never know about? Uh, and then you go turn your heating on. That's when you get all these carbon monoxide emergencies. Weigel says get your heating appliances checked. Anything that has a uh, has gas powered and has something burning inside of it and is producing exhaust fumes is going to have carbon monoxide in it and make sure dryer vents are clear. If they're packed up with brush in front of them or snow in front of them that they can't ventilate to the outside, that starts to back up into the inside as well and can cause carbon monoxide to leak into the house. Just like smoke detectors, install carbon monoxide detectors on every floor of your home. They can set up alarm systems by hardwiring all the detectors together so that if one goes off, every single detector in the house will go off. Last but not least, thank your pets because they could save your life. But in all reality, the, the dog is the one that saved the family and the detector. According to the Pennsylvania Department of Health, the latest yearly data shows 47 people died of CO poisoning in 2020. Live in studio, Taylor Tashef, back to you.